Man, that 10 minutes went quick. <laughs> okay, got it all sanded. Took my big old sponge. People, if you're looking for these big old sponges, go to like Home Depot in the tile department. And uh, they're like two bucks. But man, I love these for wet sanding. In a big old bucket. And wipe her down. When you're wiping, you're kind of looking for spots. Okay. You still got your pencil. Just because you sanded it, don't mean you're done. I've seen it happen to notice a couple when I was sanding. You always got to keep your eye open. Looking for these spots. You sure don't want to prime it and then find a couple little spots, you know? It'll make you redo the whole thing. You see, these are little tiny spots. You can just find all them now. And it's a little wet. Actually, you noticed a few of them. It's a little wet, you can really see them. And then it's drying, you can see them. Tiny, tiny little marks. So if you don't fill them now, you need to take another coat of primer. You know? But boy, that sure does feel smooth though. Feel in your, reaching your fillow vision box, you feel how smooth that is. Man, I got a little flat spot right there. Just kind of flat, I can feel it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up some of this. From the old magazine. From my new spreader. NASCAR race fixing the star. Here we watch some racing. And get this field tonight. Now this is where my main spar is. Where I was sanding on it. What I think I did is I just kind of sanded a little flat spot. And this is super thin, but it's too much for that red stuff. That blazing putty. It plays and bloody shrinks so bad. And since I got some of this mixed up, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit these other spots with it. I prefer to use this stuff, but that red stuff shrinks to that. 
Good job. Clean off that spreader. So it's so quick. A couple minutes I can sand that. Go back over here and I'll show you all these parts I got done. There's my elevators. Things are smooth, man. Got these sanded. These are ready for their second coat of primer. That's just one coat of primer I got on there. Got the flaps all done. Things are smooth. Looking good. Got the fuselage all sanded. Still need to go over at these spots down here. Man, I thought they was going to be rough, but actually they turned out pretty good. I have uh, very little sanding and, and filling to do on the fuselage. Very little. That's pretty much ready to paint. I got a canopy. It don't need much at all. A little bit more sanding. And I got these big old body flats. They're looking pretty good. They're about ready to sand. I don't need much filler on them. And uh, we're gonna get this thing painted tomorrow, people. Hopefully, that's the plan anyway. And my paint sets up fast. Bam, bam. About 20 minutes, I can tape it off and put another color on. So, uh, shouldn't be bad. I should have all that done tomorrow. I'm hoping. I'm ready to get this thing done, man. You know what I mean? I'm already kind of going to paint these ducks all white. They was primed on the inside already. I just had to get in there and wash that mold release off. But I primed the outside. I'm going to paint. Paint them white inside and out. It's going to look good. But uh, that's where I'm at. Just want to make y'all a little movie. Give you a heads up. You know. And uh, let that dude know that's been overseas. <laughs> that, uh, them guys is pulling his leg, man. We ain't flew the bomber yet. And I uh, uh Jason757 was asking about our jumbo. It's uh, Chisholm Trails RC Clubs. I believe it's next weekend. And uh, yes, they have a paved runway for jets. They got paved taxiways. It's like 600 feet by 50 feet. And a pretty nice facility out there. You can find it in the AMA book under uh, Chisholm Trail RC Club. I believe it's next weekend. So, uh, you're more than welcome to come, buddy. We'll have a good time. I don't see that F-16 go. We got a couple guys around here that's been flying jets. And there'll be a few of them out there. Besides so me and Balcom, there'll be a couple other jet guys there. They'll probably have, oh, I don't know, six, eight jets. I'm not sure who's all going to be there. If anyone shows up, we'll have a bunch. Little Mark Cole, he's got them. One of them big old F-16s, uh, Fly Eagle. F-16s, and his buddy Scott. <coughs> he's got a couple, I don't know if he'll have his F-18 ready, but he's got a Boomerang XL that I heard the motor was broke down on today and had to send it in. I hope he gets it back. 